Welcome back. In this tutorial, we will solve some exercises based on what we learned in previous surface design tutorials. So, we will be creating these simple exercises. The target of these exercises is to understand the te technique of surface modeling properly so that we can apply it on more complicated objects. So, at first, we will create this object. So, click on start. Mechanical design, wireframe, and surface design. At first, we will create this rectangle 64 by 112. So, click on sketch, click on the surface, then click on the arrow below the rectangle and click on center rectangle. Click the center point and give the second point. Then give the parameters using constraints. Constraint. So length is 112 and width is 64. Double click. Okay, then exit workbench. Then we want to convert this shape into a surface. So for that we will use extrude. Click on extrude. Then click on the profile and give the thickness. So here thickness is 16. So here we will give 16. Okay. Then cancel. Then suppose I don't want to view this line. So click on this hide show and click on this line. So the sketch will be hidden. Then next now I want to cover this surface. So for that you can use fill. Click on fill and select all the edges in continuous line. Then review. Ok. So this surface has been covered. So next is to cut this shape. So for that again we will have to make a rectangle 16 by 32. So again sketch, select this surface. Then again rectangle, click on the rectangle, create one rectangle. Then click on this line, control this line, constraint define in dialog box, coincidence. Ok, again select this line, control this line, constraint define in dialog box, coincidence. Ok, then give the dimension using constraint, click on the line, so it is 32 again constraint this line and dimension is 16 so give 16 then I can exit workbench then again we have to make the extrude so we want to go up so we will just reverse the direction and give the height of so 14 minus 16 that is 24 so height will be 24 here total height is 40 and this height is 16 16 that means 24 we have to give it 24 okay okay this surface is ready now now actually we want to cut this surface so for that we will use trim trim Select this horizontal surface and select this vertical surface. Then here you can see that it has been cut. It is indicating that it will be cut. Then click on OK. So it has been cut properly. Then again hide this rectangle. Click on show hide. Click on this rectangle. So it has gone. Then again say we okay before actually before trimming the object actually we have to copy it here so we'll just undo it so again it will become we'll just check that whether it got undone okay x2 is there only okay so before uh, trimming actually we will copy it here so for that we will use this translate click on translate 
then select this surface then we want it from point to point so click on point to point option then click on the start point give this as a reference point and this as a end point so it has it got copied there so click on ok now we will trim it again click on trim click the surface then click on the surface then ok again trim here trim click on the surface and this surface so it got trim ok ok it is properly trim now hide this rectangle click on hide show click on this rectangle then next will be to cover this surface so for that we will use again fill click on fill and select the edges ok again fill select this edges ok then next is to cut here like this so for that again we will have to create rectangle so again we will click on sketch this surface and we will create one rectangle from center center rectangle then give the dimensions double click so here it is 1 1 ok it is 32 by 24 so here we will give 32 and width is 24 again constraint 24 then exit workbench again we will extrude it so we want the height to be 16 so give here 16 ok now again we want to cut it so for that again we will use trim trim select this horizontal first and this one second now it has been removed ok so in this way this part got ready then you can convert this part into solid for that you, have, you will have to go to mechanical design part design then click on this close surface ok before that actually we will have to convert into a single object now each entity is different so again we will go back to wireframe and surface design and we will just join it so click on join and select all the entities so all the entities selected ok then again go back to start mechanical design part design then click on close surface select the join ok so in this way this 3d object is created you can view it by hiding the surface model so in this way this shape is converted to 3d object so in this way this object is ready then next is this object so for that again we will start new model so click on new then part click p on the keyboard ok ok then for this we will have to make this bottom rectangle 51, 50 by 75 so again we will click on sketch select this surface then make one rectangle rectangle so we want like this so we are taking uh, keeping this axis at this point because that will be useful for creating other object so we will we are keeping it at the center now we want these two lines to be symmetric around v so for that we will select first line second line press control and select second line and v axis and click on this constant in defend in dialog box and make it symmetry ok then give the parameters constraint so length we want it to be 75 
and again constraint give the width width is 50 then exit workbench then convert it into ok we want to go for mechanical design wireframe and surface design then convert extrude it extrude and give the thickness of how much 12 ok now again next will be to cover the surface so again we will use fill surface click on all the curves ok now we want to cut this shape on this side so again we will go in the sketch zoom fit now on this side we want to cut it so again we will create one rectangle then we will select this line control this line then constant define in dialog box coincidence ok you can select this line control this line and V constant define in dialog box symmetric ok then parameters constraint ok for cutting actually we will need this surface to be outside uh, this line to be outside so we just undo it we don't want that constraint ok actually we want to pull it outside so that it will be properly cut otherwise it will give the problems we will select this line control this line and v axis press control actually then constant define in dialog box symmetry ok the sequence is wrong so control press this line second this line third this line constant define in dialog box symmetry ok then give the constraint we want dimension from this line to this line double click the dimension is 12 so give you a 12 ok then width again constraint give the width for this line 25 so double click 25 ok then exit workbench then convert it into surface using extrude click on extrude so thickness is 12 12 is correct so click on ok ok now we have to trim this shape so for that we will use trim so at first select this surface then this surface then this surface so it trim properly and click on ok then hide these sketches so click on show hide and click there so it will be hidden isometric view then next will be to create a hole like this here so for that we will create one rectangle here so click on sketch select this surface then rectangle create one rectangle then select this line, control this line, constant define in dialog box, coincidence. Ok. Again, this line, control this line, and constant define in dialog box, coincidence. Ok. Then give the parameter, constraint, give the length here. So we want it 20 minus 75. That is 55. So you will give 55. And again, constraint for this vertical line. So we want it to be 25. So we will give 25. Exit. Then now we want to cut this using this rectangle. So for that, we will use this split. So click on split click on this surface then this rectangle so it got cut then click on ok then next will be to create this shape 
on vertical surface so again sketch click on the vertical surface zoom fit and create the desired shape so you want vertical line horizontal line and inclined line escape then select this line control this line then constant define in dialog box coincidence okay then i want this point to be coincidence so select this point control this line constant define in dialog box coincidence okay same way this point select this point control this line then constant define in dialog box coincidence okay then we can give the parameters so click on constraint this line double click the height is 25 enter then this length is 20 and this is 55 so constraint this line double click 20 Again constraint this line and this point skip constraint this line and this point we want it to be 55 ok then exit workbench then again pad again extrude then this is 25 enter so this portion is created then next will be covering of this portion so to create this portion actually we will need to fill this portion we will need one line here so for that we will create one line click on this line here from point to point click on this point to this point ok then hide hide this line click on hide show click here then hide show this line here ok then fill click on fill then select the curves this line this line this line and this line ok then I want the same curve to be on this side so you can offset this surface so click on offset surface select this surface then give the distance of 25 then ok so in this way now I don't want this line so I will just hide it click on hide and this line then isometric drawing zoom fit so in this way this surface model is created you can using clothes surface you can convert it into a solid so for that start ok before that actually we will have to join this so click on join select all the surface to be joined this surface then ok then start mechanical design part design then close surface select on the surface ok so here solid model is created so in this way we have created both the models so isometric zoom fit So in this way both surface models are created. So we will stop here. Thanks for viewing.